Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Sorensen and welcome to our June market update 2.0. Well a little bit of activity up here over the last few weeks so let's just catch you up. Number 116 Mulana Avenue at Halakalani. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom home and this one here sold prior to auction for $445,000. Another great property that we sold was number 47 Allura Avenue at Buff Point. This was a four bedroom home, it had a partial renovation in the property and this property sold after auction for $670,000. Now a couple of trends that we're seeing at the moment is that it is getting a little bit harder for buyers to get their finance in a position to go prior to auction. So with some of our properties, even though we might be getting offers in the week prior to the auction date. Banks are unable to process the loans in time and go from a conditional to an unconditional loan within the time frame. So you'll see as banks get a little bit tough with their finance that uh, a lot of our deals now are going to start to transition to a week or two weeks post auction, um, which is pretty standard when banks start to tighten up their lending criteria, which is a direct result of the Royal Commission just recently. Now some great new properties I'd love to tell you about. Number 63, Charmhaven Ave at Charmhaven. Here we are at this beautiful home today, very unique design. It was built by a local builder a number of years back and it's over-engineered, full suspended concrete slab flooring throughout this property, which is a real uh, rarity to see in this particular area. And this one here, we're kicking off with a price guide of 650,000. It's a five bedroom, two bathroom design with plenty of off-street parking. So we'll keep you posted on how that goes over the coming weeks. It gives me great pleasure to be able to bring you number 9 Shropshire Street at Gorican. This is a renovated three bedroom, one bathroom home. It's got a single garage, but it's got a huge carport to the front, uh, which you can park between two and four cars under. Now, this beautiful home is only a short walk uh, down into the Gorican town center. It's ex expected to be quite popular, lovely outdoor areas, and this one's kicking off with a price guide of $430,000. Now, a bit of an update on what we're seeing out there in the market, just to expand on what I just mentioned earlier, the Royal Commission really has tightened up the lending here. So what we're seeing now is instead of people being able to get from a pre-approval to a formal approval loan process in the standard five days for a cool off period, it's common now to see that anywhere between the seven and 14 days. So on one hand, it's a great thing that the banks have finally started to be responsible lenders. But on the other side of things, what we're actually seeing now is that they're tightening up the credit so much that we're starting to see price drops across the Sydney market as well as the Central Coast and Newcastle region. So what does that mean for you? Well, number one, go get your pre-approval in place. Make sure you've dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's. Because if you're turning up at a property and you fall in love with it, and you you're expecting to be able to go to the bank and get your loan real easy, it's not going to happen. So definitely get everything in place before you head out into the market so you're not disappointed. Okay, the next thing that you need to do then is actually be really mindful on your budget because what we're seeing is if you are going over budget at auctions, chances of you getting that um, loan increased are dwindling. And with banks being much more responsible on their lending, they are tightening down right the way down to, um, we've had clients that have told us that the banks are asking how much do they spend on large how much do they spend on the gym membership? How much do they spend on their animals, their pets? So these are the things which they really should have been doing three years ago before they let you know, the run of prices happen with a massive asset bubble across the world. Instead, now they're doing it. So what we really need to be doing is really getting you in a position where you can buy a property the moment you see it. So if you've got any questions on how to do that, if you want any tips, if you need any connections for mortgage brokers or finance, please get in touch with us. We'd be happy to show you all of our local connections that'll help you get in a position to buy. My name is Andrew Sorensen. Thanks for watching.